Man, this part of the Brady Bill seems awfully unconstitutional. I wonder why Congress thinks they can do this. I'm, a, I'm gonna call the Supreme Court. Ring, ring, ring! I'm getting a call. Hello. Oh, why, hello. This part of the Brady Bill is not constitutional. It is not necessary or proper for the local law enforcement to conduct background checks. Why, I don't know about this. I think that since this deals with federal laws, this might have to go to a Supreme Court case. Okay, then. How'd the court end up ruling in that one? They ended up ruling five to four in favor of Prince. They said it was not necessary and proper for Congress to make local law enforcement officers to conduct background checks on potential handgun buyers. Wow, how do you know so much about Jay Prince? Because I am Prince. So, what do you think of this Ray Thornton guy running for six terms in the House of Representatives? Oh, I think that's a terrible idea. We should make a state constitutional amendment saying a person can only serve two terms in the Senate or three terms in the House of Representatives. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Hi there, Ray Thornton. Well, hello. You guys can't make an amendment to the state constitution that alters the qualifications for the U.S. Congress because it is enumerated in the U.S. Constitution. The federal government must make an amendment to change that. Well, we'll, we'll see, see about, about that. that. So, how'd the court end up ruling in that one? They ended up ruling 5-4 to four in favor of Thornton. They said it was unconstitutional because states can't change the qualifications for Congress because it is enumerated in the Constitution. It is enumerated in Article 1. Gee whiz, how do you know so much about Ray Thornton? Because I am Ray Thornton. What you doing there? This draft is terrible. I'm going to mail some stuff to the draftees telling them not to submit to the government and telling them to petition to repeal the Conscription Act. Okay. That's why the draft sucks, man. Yeah, I totally feel you, bro. I totally feel you. You are under arrest for attempting to cause insubordination in the military and to extract recruitment. What? I have freedom of speech, protected by the First Amendment. Not when there's a clear and present danger, pal. Well, I'm taking you to court. So, how'd the court end up ruling in that one? They ended up ruling 9-0 against Schenck because the First Amendment freedom of speech does not protect you if what is said could be harmful or dangerous. Gee whiz, how do you know so much about Charles Schenck? Because I am Charles Shank. Hello, I'm a Cherokee Indian. And I am Samuel Worcester. I'm going to be living with you for a couple of months, so I hope that is okay. It's okay. Hey, you're not allowed to live in the Cherokee Nation because of the Georgia Act. What? You as a state legislator have no right to regulate interactions between citizens and the Cherokee Indian tribe. Since treaties between the U.S. and the Cherokee Indian tribe recognize the Cherokee Nation as a sovereign nation, the matters of interactions between citizens and the tribe are controlled by the federal government. How did the court rule on this one? Chief Justice Marshall decided that Georgia did not have a right to regulate interactions between citizens and the Cherokee Indian tribe. Because treaties between the U.S. and the Cherokee recognized the Cherokee as a sovereign nation, which would make their interactions with citizens a federal matter. Gee whiz, how do you know so much about the case Worcester versus Georgia? 
Because I'm not Samuel Worcester. Neither am I. Nor am I. I am. Bye.